Uh, I'm Bill O'Brien. I am from Seattle, Washington, and first met in, I want to say it was September 2019 did we, in Indianapolis. Was, well, but did we meet you? Was it a, a friend referral? Was it through the Rich Dad Company? Was it Anderson? It was Anderson. It was Anderson. So I joined Anderson to learn how to do the stock trading side. Okay. And once I but actually- you still do that. Still do it. You crushed that. Once I made enough, like once I made six figures in the dividend and premium and capital gain stuff, yeah. then I needed a property. So I went to Anderson, talked to my super cool advisor, mm -hmm. and he's like, I know just the person you need to talk to. Was that Seth? Now, I was in Tampa last weekend and it was 175 traders. And they're like, you know, originally I was like, that guy's a real estate guy, I'm a stock guy. But they're, they're actually very complimentary. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about why you like the stock side and then why why the real estate side has been complementary to what you've done with the stock side? I like the stock side because the thing I learned was not to treat it like growth. Yeah. Which I, I still do in my managed side. Yeah. But to treat it more as income yeah. focused. Interesting. So when I buy stock, I'm thinking them at, of them as like little houses that I'm going to rent out Genius. and I track all of my income in my spreadsheet. Yeah. So I know I'm, I'm burning down my cost basis into yeah. a new adjusted cost basis with the goal to get it to zero. Right. So I'm truly re like recession proof. Yeah. Um, and then the thing I love about when I finally get into the real estate side with Alpine yeah. was I, I'm literally doing the same thing there. And yeah. they're kind of the same, whether it's stock or houses. They really are. They're just like a commodity for me. Yeah. And they're all about cash flow, and it's all about just burning down that cost basis to zero. It's funny you say because Toby Mathis always says that. And he probably got that from me. He probably did get that from <laughs> me. Literally. Now, you need, to, you need to unlock why you are top five. We have a thousand clients. You're like top five favorite on my team. What, what is it, man? I. They love you. I don't, I don't know. I don't, that might be a gross exaggeration. Nope. Everything, because whether we see you at another, somebody's event, whether you come to Idaho, whether you come to Indianapolis, when you work with a group and you work with their team, their customer service team, like maybe you can unlock, how, how do you treat them? How do you think about them? Because clearly you have a handle on it, whether it's our customer service team, our team with the properties, uh, what's the secret, man? I, I mean, I give all the credit to your team. Like when I first came out here mm -hmm. in Indianapolis, I mean, everybody was obviously so nice. Yeah. But when I got into a room with Meg and we just laughed. Yeah. And it me like I regretted that I'd get right on a plane because it would have just been so fun right. to go out for margaritas with everybody. Yeah. But then that carried over into like every communication yeah. afterwards. And it was always just like you can see how hard they work. Yep. Um and it's and sometimes I imagine it can be dry. Yeah. And just try to like leave every interaction with maybe just a smile or like maybe the day's a little bit better than it was before yeah, yeah. and try to do that in every interaction. And I kind of feel like that's how people treat you back. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I feel like they treat me like tenfold. They do love that you, back. man. Uh, that's a gold nugget. <laughs> it is. And it's literally, it's almost like every six, seven or eight months we hear from you and you're ready to pick up another property. It's been cool. I'm trying to do one a year. I'm usually doing like two a year. Yeah. So I think I'm up to maybe nine or 10 now, but the goal to get to 20 and then figure out like, okay, then the multifamily side. Straight up. Um, and just like, again, like infinity stuff. It's like raise the stock, yep. get the real estate to catch up, get the managed money to catch up, yep. go back to the stock, get everything else to catch yeah. up. And it's, it's addictive. It's, it is real life monopoly. Yeah, it's funny you say that because um, People, well, having one house, having 500 in the market is not sexy. But when you have the financial discipline to continue to invest, and like you said, I love what you said about the cost basis. When you, when you feel yourself getting ahead, that's when you lean into it. And then you literally wake up and go, oh, I'm rich and I got a lot. And you know, uh, it's, it's process over outcome. It really totally. Is. And I love the, like they tie together in a way for me because I mean, Obviously, if the stock market crashes, I feel like I have diversification in real estate. Yep. Um, but then also just the idea that, you know, this is all 
going to my kids. Like right. this is this is still the crock pot. That's your wife. I'm not going to eat any of this. Right. This is probably my kids' meal. Yeah. Long after, and it's just fun to build it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a professional artist, so yeah. for a living, it was creating characters, creating worlds, creating things that didn't yeah. exist before. And this feels like. This is like a miniature train set. If you're a train yeah. set nerd like I was growing up, it's yeah. like building all these components. And it's, for me, I'm like into it. Like I've talked to so many people here and I was like, yeah, I get up at 6 a.m., yeah. read a little bit, and yeah. I'm in the market at yep. 6.30, yep. West Coast time, because that's when the market opens. Yeah. And so many people are like, I couldn't get up and do that. And I was like, like huh? I am so excited. I love Sunday night. I used to hate Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. Now I love Sunday night because the market opens and that I know Monday I might make $50, yeah. I might make 5,000. Yeah. I'm that much closer to my next house. I don't know, there's something about that that's super exciting. I need to dig into your side because I was, you know, I'm just like 10,000 a month in dividend stocks and, um, or my brother, whatever my brother tells me to buy because a year and a half ago he's like, buy Nvidia and I was like, okay. And you know, I ended up, that was like four months worth of yeah, pre-split. That was a good. Now I'm, now I'm looking for, Dividend kings and aristocrats. Yep, I love those. And I'm looking for prices that are almost right at, you know, in the money calls. And then I'm buying a thousand shares. Hopefully the dividend date's around the corner. Yeah. And then I'm selling just the next dividend up. Maybe it's an in the money one if the money works out in my favor. And maybe I'm just in and out. Or maybe I hold it for three months. But I, I need to it's, a, it's a campaign. I need to start messaging you on, on Google Message when my brother tells me all of his little tips. <laughs> That's some along. Sharing, I love sharing to, knowledge. I love to hear them. Awesome. Well, appreciate you taking some time. Well, final advice if somebody's thinking about virtual versus live, Idaho versus Indy, what's your advice? Am I looking at you or am I looking at you? Yeah, the camera's here. Cool. Okay. Either one. That's what I um, So the, the thing about today that was interesting compared to Indianapolis, Indianapolis was, for me, my first introduction into real estate and it was the single family home. This one is more on the development side, how to scale it. I mean, I'd say if you're coming in with 100K, it feels like you're showing up to Indy, you're getting your feet wet. If you really wanna figure out how to scale, network, take it to the next level, I feel like this Idaho one yeah. might be the one. So it's it's wherever you are on your SJ, your spiritual journey, yeah. your finance, and Love that, go. actually. That's exactly what we were hoping for. We, we loved Idaho as kind of like a comeback the next time. Because then, it, you know, it's there's 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 energy in that room. There's yeah. There's a vibe today. Yeah, I'm inspired. I mean, it, it's cool. great being here. I love coming to these. Yeah. Like, I go to the Anderson ones. They're great. Out, they're like, and I always pick up something new. Yeah. And this one, I wanted to just come out and I just wanted to come to Idaho and just yeah. see this operation compared to the other one. But yeah. there's so many, like, new nuggets just from one day yeah it's, it's so, good well it, thank thank you oh this no man amazing yeah i love it you know i would do it for, I, I would do it for free <laughs> <laughs> i really would well we appreciate you man thank you so much